In this James the Bike Guy video, we're checking out a bike that I think is pretty unique and a really cool offering from a big name. That's right, we're checking out a Trek that happens to come with a pannier rack on the front ends. It's the 2022 Trek 520 Grando, and we're gonna go into the features and designs of this bike, talk about what it's all about, and then of course, we're gonna find out exactly what it weighs. So if this kind of thing is interesting to you, sit back and consider subscribing while we check out this bike. The Trek 520 nameplate has been one of the most popular touring bikes, especially for beginner tourers, to be able to ride across the country, do bike and builds, do all sorts of crazy adventures. And Trek a few years ago updated the bike to come with disc brakes. Now the standard 520 I took a look at and it had several real awesome upgrades over the previous generation and a few things that really went against the grain for some traditionalists. Things like instead of bar end shifters which used to be on the originals they went to stuff like sti shifters where the shift and brake levers are all combined things like running disc brakes rather than mechanical rim brakes and then one of the small pieces that went away is there's no longer a mount on the chainstay for a spoke now small things like that i totally understand especially when you're talking a bike to be able to go across country and you want it to be as reliable as possible because all of those original parts essentially were serviceable either on the road or at any bike shop along your ride but as things have grown and become more popular stuff like sti shifting and then the mechanical discs that are on these new ones are just as common to be seen even out in the Midwest or out in the middle of nowhere. Now, what's neat about this particular one, the Grando, is this is designed for off-road or rough road terrain, as they call it. Basically, they took the 520 chassis and they've set it up where it runs wider tires. It comes stock with things like this 2x10 drivetrain that we'll check out in a bit to really allow the extension of some of the capability. Diving into this incredible frame on the Trek 520 Grando, we start off by talking about its Trek butted chromoly disc frame. So this is chromoly tubing. Uh, it's got a lot of really cool features that we're gonna go over here soon. And it's also gonna be running a controversial but nice and lightweight alloy front fork. Now, thinking about this frame, couple of things to mention here. The geometry of it is certainly going to be set up to be roomy as well as comfortable. So we've got in front of us a size 63, but for the sake of the numbers, we'll talk size 57. The stack on this bike is 587 millimeters. The reach is 383 millimeters. Your head tube angle is 71.8 and the seat tube angle is 73 and a half. And basically that means you can see that the front end is real tall, but it's got some reach between that saddle and the handlebar. And you want that if you wanna have some extra room while you're out on a really long day in the saddle, it's gonna help keep you comfortable, but they're able to connect it up to this cockpit we'll check out in a bit that goes down through an inch and an eighth steer. And one of the neat small features that are great to see, so you see this little uh, uh, bump that's coming off of the head tube? That's to mount a frame pump. So you could actually get a, a frame pump that slides right in between the frame there. Then all your cable routing is gonna be external, not quite as sleek and sexy as say an internal cable routing, but a lot more usable. You have mounts for two water bottle cages, a triplicate uh, on the down tube, but then the third bottle cage is available just underneath the down tube. Speaking past that, there's an integrated collar for your seat post, and then the back is set up with all sorts of rack and fender mounts, and uh, one neat feature that I love that they still do, this little protrusion that's on there is to hold your chain. So if you're taking your wheel off, you can pop the chain up and out of the way. It's just a ton of those little thoughts that help make the bike really nice. Now that fork we talked about is going to be aluminum. And I know some people would much rather see a steel fork. It's got triplicate mounts on it, obviously for the pannier rack. Fenders all can be attached to it. And then very neat is something called a through skew. So the through skew is a quick release skewer that almost works like a through axle. So you can spin it open, slide everything back together, and that's gonna help keep the adjustment of your front wheel, the disc brake, everything nice and rugged together. Now, the last bits to talk about with this frame is of course gonna be tire clearance. So this bike is able to fit as wide 
as a 29 by 2.0. So you'll see tons and tons of clearance. Now that 29 by 2.0 is of course without fenders. So if you run fenders, you'll likely have to drop down to like a 1.8 or something similar. So try and test fit before you start running them together. Now the 520 Grando is separated from the other 520 via the drivetrain that comes on it. So you'll see here that this is a two up front by 10 gears out back. So 20 total speeds, but the gearing on it is almost mountain bike style. So let's dive into that. The back end is driven by this GRX rear derailleur. It's the RX 400 long cage derailleur. You'll see it is clutched, so you can turn a clutch on, slides up like that, which helps retain the chain, keep things from bouncing around or making noise. You can take it off, which allows it a bit easier to take the, uh, the wheel off, especially with the addition of that little chain hanger on the frame. But moving forward, that clutched rear derailleur goes to an 11 to 36 tooth rear cassette that drives forward to an alloy crankset going through a threaded bottom bracket. This crankset's gonna be a 42-28 tooth. That means our gear ratio is ridiculously low, um, which is to be expected if we've got racks and weighted up for off-road or rough road touring. That 28 tooth compared with the 36 tooth is gonna give a super low crawl ratio that'll pull up on the screen. Operating that shifting is gonna be with these Shimano Tiagra STI shifters. So the STI shifters mean that they integrate the shift and the brake levers together. So when you're on the drops, you can press the inside button to go to harder gear, the whole lever over to go an easier gear, and then grab back for braking, and then the same will be operated on the left-hand side. So on a US spec like this, right is rear brake as well as rear gears, and left is gonna be front brake, as well as front gears. And speaking of braking, we've got some TRP Spire brakes. This is a two-piston mechanical caliper. It works out really neat because when you grab the brake, it clamps on both sides and it's operating on a 160 millimeter rotor. Spire brakes like this are both very durable. They run a pad that matches up with some Shimano calipers as well. And then because they're cable operated, they're gonna be easy to maintain even when you're out on your own. Cockpit wise is going to be very standard fare uh, and in fact this is a place that you'll likely upgrade especially if you've been touring a little bit yourself. It has an aluminum comp handlebar, 31.8 bar clamp that goes to this alloy Bontrager stem. The stem itself does use their blender mount which means you can add things like a light, a GPS mount, a cell phone mount to the front end and then going to the back you'll be perched up on a Bontrager Arvada saddle mounted up on this alloy 27.2 seat post. Now keeping the bike on the road or encouraging it to go off-road is going to be these Bontrager GR1 Expert tires. This is a 700 by 40 c file tread fast rolling gravel tire. So that means this tire should be fine even on pavement but it's definitely designed to be going a little bit faster and rolling smooth and they're mounted up on some super high volume Bontrager Affinity TLR rims. And when I say high volume, that means they're 21 millimeter internal, nice thick rim, laced up with 36 holes to Shimano hubs, both in the front and the rear. And uh, out of the box, that's a near bulletproof wheel setup. It's also tubeless ready, so if you wanted to upgrade to tubeless tires, you certainly can, and it should make for a rock strong companion to roll the bike on. The actual weight of the Trek 520 disc is gonna come in and weigh 29.44 pounds. Thanks for watching this video on the 2022 Trek 520 Grando. I'm curious to hear what you think about this unique bike down in the comment section below. What do you think about some of the modern touches? Do you wish it stayed the same? I don't know, tell me what you think. And while you're at it, browse the channel and hit subscribe so you can see more videos like this in the future.